In this video, I'll show you how to sign up and use Calendly, which is something I think every entrepreneur needs to use. Hi everyone, it's Matt here from Greatness Every Day and welcome back to another video as part of our Tech Tuesday video series where we go ahead and we discuss or review some sort of technology, whether that's a product, whether that's a website, whether that's an app that is going to help you live your greatest life possible. And for this one, we're talking about Calendly, which is something that has saved me plenty of time and just the energy that it saved is amazing. So I'm excited to give this review and show you uh, a tutorial slash a review of how to use Calendly, how to get set up on it, and really how to use it to save a lot of time. Um, so what it does basically is it is a, a scheduling app. So you're able to send somebody a link the, of predetermined times that work for you and they're able to find a time that works for them in order to go ahead and schedule in a possible interview, an event, or something like that. And, and this is huge for me because I have spent so much time and energy and I've got frustrated a couple times as well because I've tried to schedule interview interviews for people on my podcast for example and I remember going back and forth like 10, 12 times, sending so many emails back and forth. And I'm like, there has to be a better way to do this. And, and for me, I use Calendly to do this and solve all those problems because once I have it set up, I send the link to them and they're able to find a time that works for them and boom, you're done. It's easy. Uh, so that's why I'm taking the time to go through this right now and make a video showing you how to do that. If you have any questions during this video, please be sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to them as soon as possible. I'm going to jump on my computer here, do the tutorial, and I hope this video helps you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started now. Calendly is a web-based software that helps you schedule meetings without the back and forth emails. And it's something that, trust me, will save you a lot of time. And it's going to be your best friend as you grow and develop your business. To get started, go into Calendly.com. Type that in as your website, and that takes you to this main page. And from here, what I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to enter my email. And I'm going to use an email that I use here, um, the howtoscholar at gmail.com, which is an email for me that I use. Um, but here we go. Uh, welcome to Calendly. They take the work out of connecting with others so that you can spend more time doing what you want to do. Nobody that I know of wants to be sending emails back and forth. Uh, the really neat thing here is you can create your Calendly URL, so your website, where it is calendly.com slash whatever it name you want. Uh, for me, I have my Greatness Every Day one, but just because I'm creating this one, I want to be called the How To Scholar because that's another YouTube channel that I have. Um, so let's say I'm going to go ahead and select continue. Before I do that though, you can change your time zone here, uh, whether or not, but it usually sets it automatically for you. Select continue. And here I'm going to go ahead and just skip over this and say continue. Now, you're able to set the hours that you are available. So for myself, I work until, let's say, 4 o'clock every single day. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and select 4 o'clock. So that is actually 16.00 if we're talking about 24 hours uh, time. And let's say that I want to schedule meetings, any potential meetings between 4 o'clock and let's say between 10 o'clock. And that is through the weekday. All right. So there we go. I'm going to take the weekends off. That's why they're not selected. And I'm going to select continue. All right. Uh, what is your day-to-day -day role at work? So just so that the Calendly software knows a little bit about you. For me, this is easy. Let's say for this account, obviously it's education, given that I'm a high school teacher. And here we're into our Calendly dashboard as you can see on the top there's dashboard there is the event types there's quick start and help uh, you can go in here and you can uh, go ahead and share your calendly link you can go ahead and add a, a photo and things like that should you choose to but i'm not going to so in the free account you only get one free calendly software that you can activate at a time so you can see that there are already some different events like a 15 minute meeting a 30 minute meeting a 60 minute meeting and so on scheduled there but what i want to do is i'm going to go into event types and i'm going to show you how i would use Use this to create a new event type and that's what we're going to go down and select so new event type and let's say for the event that I'm trying to create maybe I want to go ahead and set up 
um, a consultation time where teachers can meet with me over, over Zoom or something, and we can talk about how to create a YouTube channel for high school teachers, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select the one-on-one -on -one event type rather than the group and the event name. So what event is this? I'm gonna call it the How To Scholar um, Meeting for Education well, YouTube, call it YouTube Channels just something so that the person that's going to be receiving the link knows what it's about. Uh, location, I'm going to say a Zoom meeting, and I use Zoom for all my uh, video conferences. If you uh, have any questions about Zoom or you wanna see a video about that, please let me know down in the comments below. Right now, any instructions or video descriptions? What I'm gonna say is a link to the Zoom, or maybe I'll say video chat will be emailed to you 15 minutes prior to our scheduled meeting. Just so that way the person that is going to be um, getting the Calendly or booking the Calendly event is going to know kind of how you're going to be reaching out to them and how their final interview when you actually schedule it for is going to be done. All right, uh, there you go. If you have anything, maybe you wanna change the color, um, doesn't really matter. You can go down and select next. All right now, you're asked when can people book this event. Right, right now, it says that it is uh, 30 minute events for 60 rolling days, and that means that it happens over 60 uh, total days. Uh, the event duration, you can set your own custom. You can do anything you want. I'm just going to say one hour for for starters, and the date range. The events can be scheduled over 60 rolling days. I'm going to go in edit, and instead of talking about rolling days, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and select over a date range. And let's say uh, if we're talking about this week, let's say I'm going to set it for today, and it's going to go until two weeks time. So I can go here and I'm going to select apply. So you're gonna see those new uh, times are set. If you wanted to go into advance, you could show the availability in terms of how often, if they could book the event at like 10 o'clock, 10, 15. Uh, I like 15 minute intervals or 10, 30, 10, 45, et cetera. Uh, the rest of this stuff's not super important. So I'm gonna go back into the hours. And let's say that on this Wednesday, so for example, this Wednesday I have um, a practice and you can actually notice that my times aren't changed so uh, let's go into today which is the 26th and I need to change this and I thought I did initially so let's set, make sure that our time is set from 4 o'clock p.m. until 11 o'clock at night and I'm going to say that I'm going to apply this to 26th of February only or I'm going to apply to all Tuesdays or I'm going to apply to multiple days. So for example, I'm gonna apply this to Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Thursdays and Fridays as well. And you can see the updated change of the times that I'm available from Monday to Friday is now there. So that's a nice thing. But let's say for example on Wednesday, I click on Wednesday because I have volleyball practice and I'm not actually gonna be able to um, take any calls until six o'clock at night. So what I would just do is just for that Wednesday, I'd go up here and change that to six o'clock p.m. and apply only to the 27th of, of February because I don't know um, this next week when my volleyball practices are going to be or not. So you can see the time that you're available and uh, make any changes that you need to. All right, should you change and need to make more, this shows these are the two weeks highlighted here and the program ends on the 12th of March. So um, hide this event from your main Calendly, Calendly page. I don't see why you would. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select next and everything looks good here. Should you choose to add some additional options like invitee questions, uh, cancellations or confirmation page, anything like that, you can go ahead and do that. You're going to notice that the link to the actual event is here, but what I do just to test that is I go in here, I click view live page, 
And what you're going to see is this is what it's going to look like. So should you send that information out, you can go ahead and the person will get this and they'll be able to book uh, whatever time slot is going to work for them. And that's going to sync that up with your actual uh, calendar. So from here, I go up to my um, web address and I select that and I click copy or control C on a Mac. Command C on a Mac, sorry. And uh, I'm going to be sending this link to people that might be interested in scheduling an interview. So that is essentially how you use the Calendly software. If you have any questions about it at all, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. I'm telling you, this is going to be something that will save you so much time and a lot of frustration, to be honest, just because you're not going to be having to send back emails back and forth and back and forth. I have sent 12, 14, 16 emails to people back and forth trying to arrange a time prior to finding uh, this software and I definitely recommend it and that's why I took the time to make this video. I hope this video helps you. If it did, please be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram for daily inspiration and encouragement to live a great life. You can also visit our website at www.greatnesseveryday.online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.